What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 20 minute deep stretch for tight bodies. So grab your mat and let's get started. What's up guys? I'm so excited that you're here for our 20 minute deep stretch for our tight muscles in our body. I'm so glad that you showed up today and I want you to use this stretch at least three times after today throughout this next week. So whether you do it before you go to bed, when you wake up, after your workout, I want you to keep moving mobility and tight muscles common thing for us, okay? So I want you to keep moving throughout the week. Also make sure you check out the links in the description below for my very first Fitcation weekend here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'd love for you to come work out with me in person with hundreds of other people that I've invited as well. Everyone on the channel is invited as this community has grown well together and I think you guys would really love to just meet people who are like-minded and living in the same way that you are. So check out that info in the description below as well as our black glute resistance bands and our three color glute resistance bands. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the stretch, but when you're done, if you've got some extra time, go ahead and check that out. I'd love for you to join me, okay? Let's start nice and wide with your toes pointed out to 45 degrees. We're gonna work on mobility and flexibility today, okay? So hands on your hips. The first thing we're gonna do is shoot your hips backwards, okay? Let's hinge back in three, two, one. Here we go. And if you hear thunder, it is storming right now in Charlotte, if you just heard that. So if you hear it throughout the workout, we're stretching in a thunderstorm today. Good, now I want you to shift your weight, keeping your legs straight, left heel to right heel. Left heel to right heel, and this is just gonna be a small swivel here. Okay, moving your hips over as far to one side as you can, and then shifting back to the other side. Great job. Now place your hands down in the middle and I want you to sit down on your right leg. Let's bend it, bend it, bend it. Straightening your left leg. Okay, pull that left toe up towards your knee. You should feel the stretch right here in your inner thigh. Great job. Big deep inhale as you push up and over to the other side. Same thing, you're gonna sit down on this leg, pulling that straight leg toe up towards your knee. Good, push your hip down and back so you really feel this inner thigh working. That adductor muscle, the hamstring and quad. Great job, back up into the middle. And we're gonna shift over to the leg that you first bent and I want you to put all your weight on that leg as you tuck your opposite leg behind it, okay? So one leg is tucked right behind the other leg. There you go. It's okay if your back is rounding just a little bit right now. Totally fine, and if you can only get down to shin or maybe knee, I want you to make sure you're not holding yourself up, but that you're allowing your upper body weight to stretch you and pull you down towards the floor. Okay, go to what feels like a good, tough stretch for you. All right, let's go ahead and switch feet. So just switch the foot that is behind and the foot that is in front. Keeping this same position. Great job, let your weight of your upper body pull you down. Great job. Now let's open up your feet. I want you to just put them right beside each other, okay? I want you to take your left heel and pull it right to your glute. Okay, that's part number one. Part number two, that left knee is gonna go up to the sky. So I really want you to open your hips up here. Okay, if you wanna straighten your leg, you can, or you can just open your hips up. I want you to feel the stretch inner thigh again. Okay, support yourself with your hands on the ground. If you can, just let your hips kind of open up. Let that top foot just fall back over top of your hip to the other side. Great 
job. Now take that top foot, reach it back, back, back behind you and drop it down on the mat. Okay, and let's pin your heel down on that foot, bending your front leg. Great job, guys. We're gonna spend some time here on the calf. I know some people said um, that their ankles and their calves were tight this week. Pretty much everyone said that their legs were tight, so I'm gonna work on all of the areas that I can around those lower body muscles. Okay, step back up forward. I'm gonna switch around here. You guys can stay right where you are. Step back up and we're gonna switch legs. So let's pull right heel to your glute first, okay? And then take that right knee, point it up to the sky. All right, if that feels okay, you can straighten your leg out. If not, you can keep it right here and just let that top leg fall over the back, fall over your hip and feel the stretch in the leg on the ground, inner thigh. Good job. Keep breathing. And go ahead and drop that top leg down to the floor, heel on the mat, and let's stretch that calf right here. Great job. Use your hands to support your upper body weight. Good, drive that heel down and lean your hips forward. Good. Nice job. Now walk your hands out just a little bit further and take that front foot, step it way up front. Okay, and drop that back knee down onto the floor. Okay, so right knee or whatever knee is on the mat, I want you to try and bend your foot. Okay, and reach back with the opposite hand and grab your arch of your foot. Okay, you've got your front arm, your front leg supporting you. And this should be a really great stretch for your quad right up top here. Okay, so turn your chest a little, reach back, grab inside of your arch of your foot. And a lot of times you don't need to pull, it's just that position that you can feel the stretch enough. Good, let it go, flatten it out for just a second. Okay, and we're gonna go one more time, same thing, all right? So shift up onto the top part of your quad here, bend your leg, turn back towards it, reach back and grab the inner arch. And then let your hips fall as you feel that quad stretch. It'll start to loosen up a little bit. Great job, now slowly let that foot fall. Don't slam it down. Okay, come back up, straighten your legs, and let's drop your chest down towards the mat, reaching your hands far away. Get a little hamstring work here on that front leg. Good job, guys. Good, all right, let's switch feet. So bring that front foot back to the back foot and let's switch it over, okay? Opposite leg comes way up front. You're gonna drop that back knee down, relax your foot, okay? Turn back towards it, bend, so you're using your hamstring to pull it up. Grab onto your foot, inner arch. And like I said, a lot of times you won't need to really pull too much. The stretch will be good right here. It's something you can do if you can't quite reach your foot. Wrap a um, stretch band around your foot and pull over your shoulder. Great job. Keep breathing nice and deep. If you use those resistance bands this week, you're really feeling tight in your legs. If you went heavy with your dumbbells this week, you're really feeling tight in your legs. We had a little bit of HIIT training in our leg workout this week. So I know you guys worked hard this week, without a doubt. And I want you to feel better leaving this stretch. Good, relax your foot, let's release it. 
slowly and we're gonna come up one more time. Okay, so pull the heel up, look back towards your foot, grab onto it, just hold here if you need to, you can pull, but more than likely, just holding right here, you're gonna feel that stretch right in the top part of your quad. All right, slowly release that foot, come back here, and let's straighten both legs out. So walk your hands a little bit in towards the middle, straighten both legs. And we're gonna let that chest fall down to the ground. You can push your hands into the mat a little bit so you're pushing yourself back. You're doing great. Perfect, bend your front leg again and shift the weight back up into your hands as you kick that foot back. Okay, push up into a down dog position. Hips are up to the sky. Good, shift your weight back up front, drop your knees down, and sit back onto your calves. Still reaching your fingertips way far out, away from your knees. Good, back up to tabletop position. Tuck your toes down and lift up again. Back to down dog. So you're feeling the stretch right now in your hamstrings and your calves, maybe in your back and your shoulders. Okay, drop it down again to your knees and shift that weight back as you flatten your feet. So the whole process of getting back to this position should feel pretty good for your quads too. Good job. Come back into tabletop position and slowly drop your hips forward. Flattening your feet or keeping your feet flat if they're already flat. And I want you to push up and back. So flexing not using the muscles in your low back, but putting some tension back there. And open up your chin to the ceiling if you can. Bring your chin back to neutral. Let's look over your right shoulder, back towards that right heel. Keep forcing your left hip down towards the ground as well as your right hip. Bring your head back to the center and we're gonna look over the left shoulder now. Good, bring your head back to the center. Pull your abs in as you lift back into a tabletop position. Throw that right leg right underneath of your body. And we're gonna sit down here, flattening your back foot out. If you can bend, or if you need to bend this front leg, that's fine. If you can get it straight across your mat, that's fine as well. But our main objective is to get these hips facing the mat, okay? Shift myself up here a little bit, okay. So hips are facing the mat, and I want you to just drive those hips towards your heel bone out front. Good, stay right here, and if you can walk over outside that front leg, let's do that. Keep driving your hip down over here on the back side, okay? Good job. Walk back to the middle. Okay, now let's reach down with your elbows to the floor if you can. If not, just work on keeping those hips centered towards your mat. You're doing great. Hopefully you're feeling good, feeling a little bit looser. If you can go any lower, let's go lower now. Dropping your chest down, maybe reaching your hands out. Maybe this is too much for right now. Just keep some weight on your elbows. Great 
job. All right, let's come back up. I'm just gonna roll back here onto my glutes and switch legs, okay? So same exact stretch, crossing that front leg here. If you can get your back leg back here, face your hips towards the floor, flatten that back foot out, hips turned down. Take a second to get comfortable in this position. Like I said, if you need to tuck this leg in a little bit more, that's okay. The objective is to get your hips facing down. Great job. If you can get your heel a little bit further away from your body, you'll feel it a little more in this front leg glute. Okay, but some people it's too tight and their knee starts to bother them, so if this feels like a weird twist on your knee, just pull your heel back into your inner thigh. Good, let's walk over outside of that front knee with your hands, still pushing your hips down here. Good, come back to the center now. Let's drop down in front if you can to your elbows. If you cannot yet, keep that hip pushed forward towards the floor. A little bit lower if you can now. Let's go down, down, down. Great job. All right, come back into the center here for me. I want you to cross that right heel over top of your left knee and push it up towards your chest. Sitting nice and tall. Good job. We're feeling it in the glute here on this bent leg. There you go. Now release that top leg. Fold your bent leg down, top leg goes out straight, and we're reaching over top. Great job. You're gonna feel this in your external oblique and even down into your hip as well, as well as the straight leg, of course. Beautiful job. All right, let's go back one more time. Same thing, crossing that. For you guys, it looks like my left leg over. <laughs> this mirror image thing is sometimes challenging when you got two legs doing different things. But cross your left leg back over top. Walk up a little bit closer to it now. Lengthen your spine, sit nice and tall, lean forward. And let that leg, bent leg fall, top leg goes out straight one more time. And instead of arching over, keeping your chest straight, I'm gonna tell you to drop your chest to face the floor or face your knee. Okay, pull your toe back up towards your face and reach out towards that toe. If you can grab your toe, reach out and pull your chest towards your toe. And just completely relax here for a second. Great job, come back up into the center for me and we're gonna switch legs. So right leg goes up over top. Come up nice and tall, lengthen your spine. Keep both booty muscles on the floor. <laughs> it's easy to kind of go like this, right? Keep them both flat on the floor and lean forward. Good job. Take that top leg, straighten it out to the side. Plop that bent leg down to the bottom and we're arching up and over. Good, come back into the center one more time, same thing. Nice tall spine. Good 
Let your head fall side to side here for a second. Good, top leg goes out to the side again. Let that bent leg fall and we're turning chest down towards the floor. Great job. Reach, reach, reach. And come on up top here. All right, let's stretch out your neck and your shoulders. Okay, so pull the left arm across the body. Lean your head over to where your left arm is going. And good, switch legs, switch sides. Crossing your right arm over top, lean your head over towards where your right arm is going. And come back into the middle. Guys, amazing job. I hope you feel so much better. If you wanna do a little bit more, you can always just sit here and kinda of relax your neck a little bit going ear down to the shoulder, but just make sure you're taking care of and paying attention to your major joints, the joints where a lot of things happen or in sometimes in lifestyle cases, a lot of things don't happen for a long period of time in our day and we need to kind of wake those muscles up or those areas up or reverse all the sitting or reverse all of the standing with bad posture or the sitting with bad posture, right? So pay attention to hips, back, hamstrings, calves, all in this area here, making sure posture stays nice and tall. We had Dr. Matt Crandall come on in the Sydney Squad Live this week, and he was talking about how important those lifestyle habits are to making sure you sustain your injury-free body, okay? So just certain things like say, sitting in a chair and not letting yourself round out like this for too long, okay? Naturally, it comes to us like that, right? We're texting or we're typing or we're driving or we're doing something and we naturally round out like this. So he was telling us to pull the abs in, pull the shoulders up and back a little bit and keep your spine nice and tall, nice and neutral, okay? So practice those lifestyle habits this week. If you can, do some chin tucks where you're tucking your neck backwards because as you know, we're always kind of doing this, right? So straighten that spine up, embrace the core strength that you have that you've been given to sit nice and tall, to have that posture nice and tall when you're driving, when you're sitting, when you're walking, and just make sure neutral spine and good posture is always something that's a little bit in the subconscious of your mind, okay? So lifestyle habits are gonna help us keep performing in the way that we are performing, and I'm so proud of you for working so hard, all right? I hope you feel better today, and I will see you back here tomorrow with a fantastic workout, okay? Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you finished it with me and you feel a lot better. Subscribe to our channel, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.